Welcome back. In this lesson, we'll be using base 10 blocks in order to divide models. Let's take a look at this problem. Mary and two friends sold the raffle tickets shown below for their charity. How many tickets did each of them sell if they each sold the same amount of tickets? Now, the easiest way to work with models is to go ahead and convert whatever model is given to you into a base block system. We're kind of used to the flats being 100 squares, a rod being 10, and the ones being 1 cube. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to convert this over to a base 10 system. To make working with models easier, I usually draw a square to indicate a flat of 100, a rod to indicate 10, and a dot to equal 1. Now, on the place value chart that I've developed, you can see that it has five flats. That equals the five 100 rolls of tickets. In the tens, I have nine rods. And that equals the nine string of tickets that I have up above. And the one dot is equal to the one ticket. Now that we have our base 10 block set up, we can start by dividing the largest place value. In this case, it happens to be the 100s. Now we're going to divide the groups by the number that's off to the left, which is have, in this case happens to be 3. Now that 3 represents Mary and her two friends, the three people that were actually selling the raffle tickets. Now we're going to circle as many groups of 3 in the hundreds as we can. In this instance, we're only able to circle one group of 3. And so we circle the group, and we place the number of groups that we're able to circle on top, which in this case happens to be 1. We also have two flats left. Them two flats are going to have to be broken up into 10 rods each for a total of 20 rods and regrouped into the tens place. As you can see, we have regrouped 20 rods into the tens position. Now that the tens place has been regrouped, once again, we're going to circle as many groups of three as we can. In this instance, we were able to circle nine groups. So we circle the nine groups, place the nine up in the top. Once again, we have two remaining bars. Now remember, each one of these rods equal ten cubes. So we're going to end up having to regroup twenty cubes into the one position. Now that we have our twenty regrouped into the ones position. Once again, we're going to circle as many groups of three as possible. As you can see, we were able to group seven different groups of three, and we wrote our seven up above. So now you can see that we have divided our base 10 model by three, and we know that each one of the three people each sold 197 tickets. Well, that's it for this lesson. Hope this strategy helps you out a lot, and we look forward to seeing you in the next lesson.